Hi guys, welcome to Wei Pan channel. Today, I'm with my one of my friend Nanny, Nanny from Pakistan. Nanny, can you tell about yourself? Uh, thank you, Wei Kwan. Hello, everyone. My name is Nanny, and I'm an international student studying at Inti International College Subang. Well, I'm doing uh, accounting and finance degree from Australia. Uh, I have been in Malaysia for the last four years. And this is going to be my last semester from next year. So about like six months, another six months I'm going to be in Malaysia. Danny, do you miss your country? Okay, uh, what about Pakistan do you miss? Well, mostly all, I would say like all international students, uh, they have been missing food. Oh, food. So uh, the common thing that I miss food, but nowadays in Pakistan basically it's winter. So it's like, you know, cold season. So basically, the winter I really have been missing. So it's been like it's been two years I haven't been to Pakistan. Yeah. Yet. So basically, unfortunately, in Malaysia there is only one tropical weather, all the time raining. So that's that's the part that I really miss in Pakistan. There are four seasons. Now you say you are mentally and emotionally equipped to handle the COVID situation. To be honest. This is the first time we are like facing this uh, uh, disease. So now we are enough, well, prepared like uh, mentally and emotionally. But before that, you know, when it started, you know, uh, uh, we, to be honest, like I was scared that uh, when it started, we had a few months like, you know, March, April, May, yeah. Yeah. it was really, challenging going out and you know now to be honest with now if I go out so if it's, it's going if it's going to happen to us mm. it will so now I'm mentally prepared like if it's going to happen it will if it's not going to happen no so for me I'm now I'm chill trust me but previously when it was a new thing to us then I was like trust me and um, you know depressed and not going to the campus studying at home so new things to face or a lot of challenges that we had yeah now do you have any plan post for COVID-19? Uh, definitely um, because now uh, it's going to be my last semester next year so now I'm now on semester break and the semester break is just in my in my whole apartment like I'm just having nothing to do or maybe if I get to the opportunity to work as an internship so but the thing is uh, that I can see there is nothing coming to me for an internship yet so and to be honest my semester break is three three months yeah, yeah. and uh, if I visualize like what I'm gonna do nothing Waiting. The most plan uh, for COVID is like I have to travel uh, to Ireland, maybe uh, Langkawi. So I have the, the post COVID plan, a lot of post COVID plans because I just want uh, to visit the whole Malaysia thinking of like, okay, yeah, these are on my you know list. So before you get your. Before I'm going definitely because uh, uh, now I feel like uh, to be honest like I feel like you know sad uh, you know uh, I've been here for four years now when you going back uh, so thinking yeah definitely I'll visit and visiting in Malaysia not like you know all the time like once or twice in a year that would be like maybe a couple of years later but thinking of going back and not seeing Malaysia definitely I'm gonna miss really I'm nervous. I would say like this is for me is my second home and mm -hmm. here I have spent a lot of my time. Previously like uh, even in, in Pakistan I spent like uh, because I was born and raised up in Saudi Arabia. So maybe Pakistan I have spent uh, probably maybe six years. Yeah. Six years. Six years. So comparatively like the same thing. So yeah. this is why. Okay. Yeah. Now in the process, do you think you have learned anything? Uh, actually, you can compare the previous situation which 
current situation. Previously, uh, okay, to be honest, like now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Previously, the hand sanitizer, hands, yeah, you know, hand sanitizer, yeah, yeah. and wearing mask, that was not common. Mm. And honestly, now people know, even a kid, they know, okay, this is hand sanitizer. So I think for, for this is a really a good thing that we have we have to take it in our when we get back to our normal life mm. then we the using hand sanitizer is really very important. So th this is uh, the thing, but this is a part like uh, hand sanitizer and mask. I'm saying like everybody like learn this thing to for the precautions. But the thing that I would like to share like now universities working from home even you uh, you you have created you know the you don't have things to do I think now you are doing at home have studying at home making videos and posting on your YouTube yeah. so this is about I think more towards digital so people they have to learn about more towards digital thing because previously like we had like face-to-face -face classes but when it comes to online thing, some students uh, who, who don't know and even some people they have no idea because uh, to be honest, I would say in Malaysia uh, the literacy rate is higher but when we go to our country, back to our country, the parents, they, their kids, they go to school but when it, it is online so the students, uh, they got, you know, they working from home or classes from home, then they had, they, they, they face a lot of issues with that. But by the time, now they have already learned. Mm -hmm. So that these are the things that basically digital thing, I would say, is now very, very famous going uh -huh. on. And the uh, people who, like you, yeah, yeah. I would say uh, you will be successful. <laughs> my my prayers are always with you. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now thank you very much. Xie uh, Xie Ta Chia. See you again. How to say in Chinese? Oh, uh, Zai Jian. Zai Jian. Thank you very much, guys. Bye bye. Take care.